I'm sweating now. That's your makeup is melting. <laughs> but it's okay in the camera, no? Very it's good. better. Very good. <laughs> My name is Francisco Guimarães and I live in Lisbon. Nice to meet you, man. We are in Sport TV and I'm a football analyst here. What are you talking about today? We are talking about Champions League, especially the, the, the games of Benfica, Sporting and, and Porto. I don't have a favorite team. No. I'm not allowed to say. You don't use it, but you need to use it. I think it's Benfica. At the, at the moment, is the best Portuguese team. But in football, everything changes so quickly, so well, I don't know. In Champions League, are very difficult games. Ah, Walter. Where are you from? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was sleeping. I'm from uh, Blain, near the river. One of the best places that Lisbon have. This is the, the backstage of the, the program. They decide where where is the camera. Done. It was very boring for you, no? That was very exciting. <laughs> okay, where are we going now? We're going to the university. Why? Because I study there. What are you studying? I'm studying arts and humanities. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a football coach. Uh, okay. And I was a football coach like seven years. Two years ago, three years ago, I started to, to realize that I wanted to do lots of different things. And that's why I choose to go to the university. To open your mind. To open my mind, yeah, to open my eyes, especially. So it's incredible to, to have this opportunity to go back to study. And go back to study with, with no reason, apparently. Only to study, only to know more, only to, to open my mind, as I said. I lived in India for six months to coach a football team there, mm -hmm. with a Portuguese coach, too. It was very meaningful for me and, and very mind-opening. The contact with totally different culture, totally different way to, to deal with life, to deal with problems, to deal with death. If I read Dostoevsky, if I read uh, um, Fernando Pessoa, Camões, uh, uh, Evelyn Waugh, famous writers... You'll get very depressed, I... man. <laughs> We are in Alfama. I took you here because uh, this is the center where the Fado born and I love Fado and I write some lyrics. I come here almost every night to entertain myself, to have, to have some silence. In silence we can, we have the opportunity to leave some space for, for beauty, to think about things that are very important. When I bought the Carmingo, uh, the first album of Carmingo, the first CD, uh, I became in love with Fado because Fado has a has a very special thing that is this connection to the words, connection to to poetry. That, uh, for example, popular music do, uh, doesn't have. Even the tourists that listen to a Fado sing, they cannot understand a word, and somehow they they get emotional. I think you're more passionate about Fado than you are about football. It's the same. It's the same. In, in poetry, we, we can understand better life. And um, in, in football, uh, as a football coach, for example, uh, I need to understand very well the human being. This is an old chapel, and now it's a father house. Give me something profound to wrap this video up. I quote uh, Dead Poet Society to, to suck all the marrow of life. I went to the woods because I wanted to live deliberately. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. I'll second that. <laughs> That's what you're doing, is it? Yeah, I think so. I'm trying to. Thank you.